Well, hello there. We are in the car again. Hello. On a bit of a road trip, just a couple days, driving to Minnesota to visit family. Maybe we can show you some of the UP as we're driving through. Look, train tracks. Should we wait for a train? <laughs> don't come through there very often. Oh, okay, then it's good we're not waiting for that train. <laughs> this is the UP. Lots of roads, lots of trees, pretty clouds. Those are low-hanging clouds, eh? It'll turn really green once the leaves start coming in. It's still... Oh, I see some leaves starting to cut little buds on the trees. This is the town of Champion. Used to be a mining town. Now I sound like an expert. The fire and EMS department. The oh, township look. office. More train oh, tracks. Oh, more train tracks. Actually, it's the same track. <laughs> <laughs> How could it be? Just around this road. Wow, yeah. that much? Okay. Yeah. I guess we've been weaving too. We've probably done more weaving than the train tracks have done. I don't know how loud this vehicle is if we heard above the noise of the vehicle or not. Depends if there's a movie playing in the back. <laughs> there are the train tracks. Maybe we will see the train today. There's Van Riper State Park. I've never stayed there. I've been there, never stayed there. I guess it's a nice, nice place to go camping. I was baptized there. I was baptized there in that lake. Let me show you the lake. Maybe I can, maybe we can see it. There it is. <laughs> Back to the trees and the road and the sky with the clouds. I just realized, oh, that there's a, Spot on the windshield, but I think that's a, a dimple. A dimple, yes. Three Lakes Motel. Carla's Bear Den doesn't look open. I mean, it looks like it's in business, but just not open. It is Sunday morning after all. You can stay at some little cabins there. There's Lake Ruth. Take a look out the side. Pretty lake. You can take Petty Coat Lake, whatever it was. I was distracted by the Bear Paw Inn. And that's Petty it. Coat lake Road. Alright. That was Three Lakes. Is that what it was? Three Lakes. Yep. Okay, we've got more trees, more road, more sky with clouds. Hey, we've been practicing social distancing since 1857, thank you. What? <laughs> not, not us personally, together. No, the UP. <laughs> the UP has been practicing social distancing since 1857. Okay, we're entering some town. Kenton? Because it's the Kenton Ranger Station. Oh, this is where UP Chucks is. is yeah, Chucks? right there, Up Chucks. Oh, Up Chucks. Oh, the sign is not there anymore. It's faded. Uh, yeah, I can't see it. It was UP Chucks, Up Chucks. Okay. It is nice though. The speed limit is 65 here instead of 55. Not as nice as some places in the country, but... Where you can go 85? Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't want to go 85 in a snowstorm, but, you know, the roads are clear today. At least it's 65. So we've got more trees, more road, more sky, less clouds. And, and cracks in the road that have been filled. Yeah. Tower for 
Trout Cleek. Trout Cleek. Oh boy. The water tower for Trout Creek. Looked like they had the uh, Polish flag painted on it. <laughs> the red and the white. No, the white and the red. The white and the red. It looked like a big bobber. Is that what it was? I don't know. <laughs> it looked like to me. I didn't see any fish on the end of the line. <laughs> I didn't either. Okay, they've got the Abbott Fox Park. Some old equipment there. Steam engine. Okay. Looks like that was it for Trout Creek. You'd have to actually drive into town. We're just passing on the edge. Unless that was the town. That was. It's. See, there's the gas station with the old lights. But you can get fresh eggs there. Ooh. You see Bruce? Nope. He's crossing. <laughs> this is the town of Bruce Crossing. A little bit bigger than last town. I think we should buy the Motel Cafe building there. Fix it up. Just I think and open all it the again. illegals we could house there. <laughs> it's for sale too. Commercial property. That's What's the that? Michigan Cannon Bottle Collection Site. <laughs> All of Michigan has to come there and bring their bottles and cans in that little shed. Wow. I didn't bring any. Oh, look at this nice fixer-upper. What do you think we could do with that? Wow. Look, there was so much junk in it that it couldn't even collapse all the way to the ground. Driving through Bruce Crossing. We've got trees, roads, more trees, sky, a few more clouds. Looks like there's some houses up ahead. Does that mean there's another town coming up? Or these people were farming on the edge of town or something? No, they're, they're living in the suburbs. Suburbs. Suburbs are usually connected to the city, town. Remember the social distancing part? Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. I think this is just a farm on the outskirts of town. There is a barn there, after all. Close to town, but not in town. Nice. There's a... What do you call it? Train bridge? Over the Baltimore River. Was it the Baltimore River? I didn't see a sign. We almost blinked. Yeah. <laughs> All of a sudden there was a sign that said speed limit 35. Oh, we're in Ewan. Yeah, so we missed half the town here. I mean, you know. It's a big house. On the drive through town. Yeah, they've got a water tower in their backyard. Okay, Berglund's in 14 miles. Maybe we'll be paying better attention and catch the whole town. They got street lights. Wow. Along this path. Wow, look at that. Walking trail or something. Or something. There's a school and a playground back there. You and Trout Creek. I hear about them and the weather forecast all the time. When there's school closings. <laughs> Do you see a lake? Yeah, it's a big lake there. Is there? Oh, okay. Right, we'll see. 
at the hoop and holler. I mean, I'm sure if you take the side roads, you'll find some more things, but that was Meriwether. Yeah, three more houses. Beautiful stuff. Ah, oh, stuff, yeah. This is the town of Wakefield. You can go to Candle Bakery and get pasties. Pasties. I almost said pasties because I was reading it. Pasties. It can be pronounced either way. No. <laughs> it cannot. It is pasties. So we are in Wakefield. A pretty little lake here. One house overlooking the lake. <laughs> Who is Tate? That's our GPS speaking to us in Dutch. cheaper here. We left the gas station. I forgot to pull out my camera right away. But we're still in Bessemer. Nice sized little town here. Little? Maybe it's a big town. Maybe it's a little city. I don't know. It reminds me kind of of Munising in size. But we're just on the main street, so what do I know? <laughs> The side streets don't go very deep. No, they don't seem to, do they? Oh. They got a plywood corporation here. Oh, and an industrial park. Hey, we drove back there once. Why did we go back there once? We were looking for a pasty shop. Was that it? Or waterfalls or something? Hmm. That was a long time ago. When our kids were little. When our older kids were little. So we've got more road, more trees, more sky, more clouds. Big powder horn. Black River Harbor Yeah, Recreation. I think we were looking for... Okay, we drove a little tiny bit and there's a Walmart here. Just thought you guys would want to know that. Okay, we have entered the city of Ironwood. City, town, I don't know. Something's rattling in here. Speed limit is 40 through town. Ooh, 
they've got a marshals here. Wow. Price of gas is three twenty nine a gallon. Don and Gigi's. I read that as <laughs> dog and egg. I don't know. Sandpaper motel. Do you think there are any sandpapers around here? Another pot shop. McDonald's and an O'Reilly's and a Quick Trip. They've got a lot of stuff going on in this town city.